like anything else in life, you get better at what you do. You hire the right crews, you work with them for a while, they figure out what you like, what you don't like, they get a feel for you. And at the same time, you learn as an individual, don't stress out, don't freak out. There's no mistake you're gonna make that's gonna kill your deal, you know? Hey guys, hope you're having a good day. Joe Perez flipping a leash. So today we're doing a follow-up visit, one of the properties I'm working over here in Tustin, California. For all those of you who don't know, Tustin, California is probably about, I don't know, eight miles from the beach. So anyways, let's go take a look at the progress. I can already tell from outside since last time you guys were here, home's been painted, a bunch of other stuff has been done. So let's take a look at it. We got the crew hanging out. They just finished having lunch. <laughs> we're getting ready to put the new sod up. And it looks like for right now, the vote is these palm trees are gonna stay. You can see the brick's been painted too. It was all red, but with the color scheme that we're going with the grays and the darker colors, uh, having red brick didn't make sense. As you can see, this has been painted. It's one of my favorite colors, muslin. All right, I still got some work in here. All right. So I can see they got all the lighting, the room painted into the baseboard. As you can see, this is what the original floors look like. I don't like these original floors. They tend to be faded in a lot of areas and the planks are like that wide. Nowadays, a wide plank is what's really in style. However, that being said, I will tell you that you'll get to some uh, older historical homes, those older like Craftsman, Victorian style homes. For sure those, if you can restore it, because that kind of buyer, it means everything to them to have the original flooring. So those, if you can, you want to restore them. But we're like right near the beach here. This is like a beach town. We don't, they don't really care about original flooring. If you remember, this room had the lock on it. Looks good. See, they got all, all the lighting, it's painted. And then you got all the hardy backer. So we're getting ready to put all the tile over here. Now, here is the flooring, that the wood, the brand new wood that we're putting in. And we're getting ready to put that tile, as you can see, on the fireplace, it's starting to go on. The regret is that we couldn't get rid of that column. I mean, it's a major load-bearing column. And the worst comes to worst, if I really, 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 really wanted it gone, I probably could have. It just didn't pencil out. But we did open up. If you remember, there was walls here before. <coughs> you guys saw the framing. The kitchen's a lot bigger. And then, so my designer, I guess he wants to keep this pony wall. That's gonna be the island. I'm really big on different angles that provide depth. And all this looks like really big over here. So let's get over to the backyard. Do something over here. Yeah. Then, so I see that all looks new. The siding over there. We had some issues with the while we replaced it. So the vote was keep this, replace the countertop, and we're going to keep the benches, it looks like. We gotta do something on top of here. We gotta put something because it looks kind of tore up, it looks kind of old. But the place, if you notice, it looks humongous now. It's absolutely humongous pool is a little bit greening so we're gonna have to get the pool guy out here but it's progressing well all right so now is the big thing as you know every home I hit an adverse factor and this one I mean we took care of one of them we opened up the floor plan because it looked kind of tight and compressed the other thing was how we were gonna design the upstairs it had like some unique issues so let's let's see how our design it's panning out because it should all be framed up now. You can see there's all new texture up here. Still got to figure out something to do with these, with these doors. Okay, so here's one of the rooms. All right. So now we just need the flooring over here. Fireplace. Got to paint that if you remember. The fireplace extended out further. We knocked all that out, kind of flattened it. There'll be, some, there'll be some tile that'll go through all of here. All right, so then let's get in here. So it's perfect. 
Have your toilet over here come through. Big vanity over here. You can fit big mirror area. Your window. And this is a good size shower with the dual shower heads. That'll look nice. All right. And then this room has totally been enclosed. Last time we were here, this hallway did not exist. So now it's over here. I like it. I like it a lot. So if you remember, that used to be a bar before. Looks nice and big. And here is a closet. And I love how it's designed. It could be a bonus room, it could be a living room, it could be another bedroom, it could be all kinds of things. It could be an office area, whatever you want it to be. And it's got the closet. So that closet officially will count it as a bedroom. So it meets all your needs. It gives you a chance. Now, when we get the home stage, the stages will probably come in and stage it a certain way to give you some ideas, but you'll be able to choose what you want. And then at the same time, we made sure that this upstairs had a really big bathroom. And it does has everything you need. So I'm really pleased and it doesn't feel too crowded. I like how I like how everything looks in here. But you know, some of the toughest part is all this drywall work, all this framing, all this painting and texturing and all that. So all that stuff's been done. That's really good. And there's a lot of guys. We have seven guys working right now. So you'll find that over and over, I keep talking about penciling it out. And what I mean by that, penciling out is like real simple. It means that you don't have to do it with a fine tooth comb unless you're in a neighborhood where your budgets are really tight, you know. Out here, there's a, a pretty good amount of profit built into it. But you always want to like keep track of your expenditures. What are you spending? How much do you have? And so forth. And for example, that column to move it, that was a major load bearing column. Because of the design of the home, it looks like most of the, most of the weight was all centered in that area. If somebody put a gun to my head and said, you know, I will kill you unless you get rid of this column. Absolutely, it's done. But fortunately, I'm not under those circumstances. So do I wish I could have had a home that you walk in, that column wouldn't have been there? Absolutely, you know. But part of the problem with that is, is that it's just a load bearing, major load bearing. It's just going to cost too much. So anyway, so I gave you guys a quick tour. You know, they're not sexy, these tours, this or that, they're flashy or fancy. It will be when it's done. But just to give you guys an idea of what it's like to do like what I do. And to be honest, I actually love this. I love get a, coming in, watch, supervisor. I love being like the king of my castle, you know. Now, today's a really smooth day. Do all days go smooth? No, there's some days you come in and you're kind of angry. But I haven't had those days in years. And part of it is because like anything else in life, you get better at what you do. You hire the right crews. You work with them for a while. They figure out what you like, what you don't like. They get a feel for you. And at the same time, you learn as an individual, don't stress out. Don't freak out. There's no mistake you're going to make that's going to kill your deal, you know. And if you do make a mistake, that mistake has great value because it's going to teach you so much. That knowledge is going to make you a lot more money. So I've learned uh, I don't take anything serious. So that's why these days, they're pretty like nice days. They're pretty nice days because I get to come in and I get to watch my vehicle, my machine grow and progress. And I know that eventually when it gets to where it needs to be, I'm, I'm going to make really good money on this one. And that's, that's all what it comes down to, you know? So for all you people out there, it's a little more than just a before and after picture, but there's a lot of really, really cool things in the middle that you'll love. You'll absolutely love, you'll feel good about yourself, and you'll enjoy the financial freedom. So hopefully you guys like the videos. Uh, I'm working hard to give you guys something that you'll like. Please subscribe, please keep following us. And if you have any questions or whatever, post them, post your comments, and we'll definitely respond to them, okay? So hopefully you're having a, guys, you guys are having a good day. How was that? Good. I feel like my energy level's not very high today, but it's, it's hot. It's better than it was uh, the last one. Oh man, I just, it, I just, uh, I was tired, plus I had a rash on my butt. Um.